Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about series resistors. So by the way, in this video, when we deal with different formula for the voltages, currents, and resistance within series resistor circuits, we're gonna use also the concept of Ohm's Law. So I already have a separate video about Ohm's Law, so if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link for my video about Ohm's Law so you can check it also. Okay? So going back, one way of putting together resistors or any other electrical components is by connecting them in series. So how do we connect two or more resistors in series? So let's say we have a resistor, let's name it as R1, and we want to connect another resistor in series with R1. So we can connect another resistor, let's say R2, to R1 by connecting this one terminal of resistor R1 to one terminal also of resistor R2 and then if you want to connect another resistor in series this time with R1 and R2 we'll just need to connect on the other terminal of resistor R2 one terminal of another resistor let's say R3 and we'll just continue this pattern if you want to connect more resistor in series so now, let's say we have series resistors R1, R2, R3, and so on until resistor Rn. And across them, I will connect a battery or a DC voltage source, let's say with value V sub T. Since we have formed a closed circuit, there will be a current flowing through the circuit. Let's name it I sub D. So what are the important properties of series resistor circuits? So the first property is that current IT is constant through the series resistor circuits. So it means that the current that will flow through resistor R1, let's denote it as I sub 1, will also be equal to the current that will flow through resistor R2, let's say I sub 2, also equal to the current that will flow through resistor R3, I sub 3, equal to any other resistor within that circuit until we reach the current flowing through resistor R sub N, let's say I sub N, and they're all equal to the total current I sub T. Next property is that the total resistance for the series resistors, let's say R sub T, is just the sum of the individual resistances within the circuit. So R sub T is equal to R sub 1 plus R sub 2 plus R sub 3 plus dot 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 until the last resistor R sub N. Now, for the total voltage, Vt, it can be computed as the sum of the voltage trap across each resistor. So, let's say we have the voltage trap across resistor R1 as V1, the voltage trap across resistor R2 as V2, the voltage trap across resistor R3 is V3, until the voltage trap across resistor Rn is V sub N, their sum will be equal to the total voltage source V sub T. So V sub T is equal to V sub 1 plus V sub 2 plus V sub 3 plus dot 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 until V sub N. And this is what we call the voltage divider. So the voltage being delivered by the battery is being divided to each of the resistor. Okay? Now each of the voltage, resistance, and current of the resistors can be related by Ohm's law, which is V is equal to IR, I is equal to V over R, and R is equal to V over I. So therefore, if we consider resistor R1, all of these three equations for Ohm's law are applicable. So therefore, for resistor R1, V1 is equal to I1 times R1, I1 is equal to V1 over R1, 
and R1 is equal to V1 over I1. Same as true for the other resistors. Likewise, Ohm's law holds true for the total voltage V sub D, total current I sub D, and total resistance R sub D. That is, V sub D is equal to I sub D times R sub D. I sub D is equal to V sub D over R sub D. And R sub D is equal to V sub D over I sub D. Okay? So to illustrate the concepts and formula for series resistor circuits, let's try to solve this example. So in this figure, we are given series resistors R1, R2, and R3 with values 2, 4, and 6 ohms respectively. And across them, there is a voltage source connected which has a value of 12 volts. So let's find R sub T, I sub T, I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3, V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3. So let's try to find first R sub D or the total resistance. So it is equal to R sub 1 plus R sub 2 plus R sub 3. So substituting the values, we have R sub 1 is 2 ohms plus R sub 2 is 4 ohms plus R sub 3 is 6 ohms. So adding them, we have 2 ohms plus 4 ohms plus 6 ohms equal to 12 ohms. Okay? Now, we can find the total current I sub T that will flow through this circuit by using Ohm's law. So I sub T is equal to V sub T divided by R sub T. The value of R V sub T is the given voltage source which is 12 volts. So substituting the values we have, V sub T is 12 volts divided by R sub T, the one that we obtained, 12 ohms. So therefore, I sub T is 12 divided by 12 or 1 amp. Now, to find the currents I sub 1, I sub 2, and I sub 3, we'll consider the fact that in series circuits, the current is constant and it will be equal to the total current within the circuit. So therefore, we can equate I sub 1 is equal to I sub 2 is equal to I sub 3 is equal to the total current I sub T, which is 1 amp. Okay? Now, for the voltage V sub 1, V sub 2, and V sub 3, we'll just use Ohm's law. So, V sub 1 is equal to I sub 1 times R sub 1. We know that I sub 1 is equal to 1 amp times the resistance of R1 which is 2 ohms. So, times 2 ohms, we have V sub 1 equal to 1 times 2 or 2 volts. Same as for V sub 2, we have I sub 2 times R sub 2. I sub 2 is 1 amp. R sub 2 is the resistance of R2 is 4 ohms. So times 4 ohms. So V sub 2 is equal to 1 times 4 or 4 volts. Lastly, for V sub 3, we have I sub 3 times R sub 3. So I sub 3 is equal to 1 amp times resistance R3 is equal to 6 ohms so that V sub 3 is equal to 1 times 6 or 6 volts. So let's try to check if the total voltage source is really equal to the sum of the voltage drops across each resistor. So V sub T is equal to V1 is 12 volts plus V2 is 4 volts plus V3 is 6 volts. So adding them, we have 2 volts plus 4 volts plus 6 volts is 12 volts, which is also the value of our total voltage source, which is 12 volts. Okay, so that's how to analyze the voltage, current, and resistance within series resistor circuits. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.